Good afternoon. Well, this is certainly the saddest day in my career. Um, I'm just go briefly over the facts as we know them at this time. Last night, uh, Saturday night, uh, January 29th, at approximately 9 p.m., we do the standard facility count. All of the offenders are taken, go back to their cells, and we do the evening count. Um, it was determined fairly quickly that there was an offender missing from the Washington State Reformatory Unit. The staff then move into what's called a picture card count, where they use an identifying picture to help determine specifically which offender may be missing. Staff, by about 9-14, had um, determined that offender Scherf, that's the pronunciation, pronunciation that I have at this point, it's S-C-H-E-R-F, that uh, Fender Scherf uh, was not in his cell in the Washington State Reformatory. They began procedures to continue to confirm the count as well as search procedures that are taken within the facility to attempt to locate the inmate. Almost simultaneously, other staff that were coming from another location to completing another part of the count process uh, noticed that there were lights on in the chapel area and stepped up to the doors of the chapel and observed an offender inside the foyer, just inside the front doors of the chapel. They engaged the offender. The conversation I don't have the specific details of, but at, at that point, it was the offender indicated that he was thinking about escaping or attempting to escape. So they apprehended the offender, brought him back to the shift, where they interview, shift office where they interviewed him, and then took the offender to segregation. During this pro and were then able to clear the count, which up until that point was the focus of what was the activities that were going on. At um, 10 p.m., there was a change of shifts. The third shift or afternoon shift was going off duty. The first shift or the uh, graveyard shift, as it's known, was coming on duty. One of the pieces that has to occur is an accounting of equipment, keys. And as the staff in the control room did this, they noted that the keys and equipment assigned to Officer Bindle, Jamie Bindle, the uh, chapel officer, were not accounted for. She should have been off duty at 9 o'clock and turned those items in. Staff responded to the chapel at that point, which was then about 22, 20 hours or 20 after 10. Um, they almost immediately located Officer Bindle. She was non-responsive on the floor in the chapel, in the main large chapel area. They uh, began life-saving measures, initiated CPR. Uh, also, medical staff responded with the custody staff. Uh, 911 was called. Emergency medical services responded. They were on site by about 1029. Um, in concert, all of those staff continued life-saving measures with Officer Bindle, and at 10.49 p.m., she was pronounced dead by the uh, medical staff. So that is the summary of the events that occurred last night. We um, have kept the offender isolated. Monroe Police Department was immediately called in. They responded to the facility. They began their investigation at roughly 11 o'clock last night. Um, they are still working on that investigation at this time. 